good morning or good evening to you. Um, I sent you a text that said I forgot to press record on the Zoom thing, um, which I'm very sad about. Um, but to make it up for you, I'm just going to record myself doing it and cueing it along the way. And you can follow along. Um, and hopefully it'll be just as good. So cheers. This is coffee because it's early-ish. Um, and I love you. And let's do this. Okay, you will need a strap for this practice. Um, if you don't have a strap, well, first of all, if you don't have a strap, please tell me and I'll get you one. Um, I have lots of them and I can share. Um, but if you don't have one, just grab like a dish towel or a washcloth or any kind of hand towel, small towel, um, or even like one of your scarves would work. Uh, you can try that. Um, and just set that off to the side. We won't need that until the end. Um, when we come into cow face, um, deep shoulder expansion feels really good in the back, deep into the hips, but we're going to work our way up to that. So let's start in a seat and take my sweater off and go to my mat. So hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. I have it set back so that you can see my full body during the practice. Um, and I'll try to talk nice and loud so that you can hear it. I don't have any music playing because I didn't want it to be distracting, but I'll text you the name of the playlist that I used yesterday if you want to have that going kind of in the background uh, while you play this video. So here we go. All right. So we're going to start easy seat. So just a gentle cross of your legs. Let your eyes close here and then always we open the chest. So roll the shoulders back. That slight squeeze of the shoulder blades behind your back. And from here, a nice tall spine. So even here, I can feel myself leaning slightly forward. So I'm gonna shift my weight a little bit more into my sits bone so that I feel my tailbone reaching straight down and then try to align my spine straight up from that point. Soften the shoulders back. Even here, draw the belly button in. And even those small adjustments help us to expand our chest and create that space for breath. Just relax your hands either on your legs or down by your side. Keep your spine tall, keep your shoulders soft. And as you begin to notice that breath coming in and out, notice how it brings you present. We're practicing presence here, presence with ourself, uniting body, breath, mind, soul, all together, brings you into this moment, makes you aware of your presence here not downstairs, not with the kids, not in the kitchen, but just here. And then the next step from that is that we notice or become more aware of God's presence in us and around us. God's presence never leaves us, but we, through our breath and intention, became more aware of it, and then we choose to be still in it. So just let that awareness, that presence, let it be real, let it be the focus of your mind, your breath. Keep your eyes closed. Let your hands drop down by your side. Palms remain facing up. 
And through this little flow, keep your eyes closed the whole time. Just feel your way through these postures. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Let your chin move up away from your chest. And exhale, press your palms down. Draw your chin to chest. Inhale, arms sweep up, chin lifts. Exhale, press everything down and in. One last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, press down. Inhale, arms sweep up, chin stays in the center this time and take that open chest back bend. Chin lifts, chest pulls forward, elbows out to the side. And then as you draw your chin back to center, just bring your elbows up overhead. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows up overhead. Paying attention to here to which arm is on top. So here, this is my right arm. It's kind of sitting on top of my left. Just notice which way you go naturally. And then squeeze the shoulder blades back together. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let your right elbow drop down towards the floor. You're taking a little right side body bend. So the left rib spread, root that left hip down to the mat. Inhale back through the middle and exhale left elbow towards the floor. So your little crunch in that left waist, stretch through the right ribs. Don't let that right hip lift up off the floor. Create the length in your ribs. Don't let the hip come up. Good, then come back to center. You're gonna release your elbows. Bring your arms behind your back, interlace those fingers, and then straighten out your arms. You're moving your fists towards the floor. Maybe the fingers touch, maybe they're up above the floor. You just play with that position a little bit, and then roll the shoulders back. So I've got a big squeeze of my shoulder blades together, and lift the chin. Move the fists towards the floor. should feel that expansion in the front of your chest, maybe some stretch in your arms. And release your hands. We're gonna rock forward into our tabletop. So palms come down, rock your weight into your palms and then knees right under hips. And you've got that nice stacked all fours here. So spread the fingers wide. Make sure your knees are hip width apart and not too wide, but nice and steady under your hips. And I want you to feel the big toes on each foot really ground to the floor. Draw the belly button in. Here's our strong table. We're gonna take two cat cows and then work a little strength and balance. Inhale, cow pose. Really tilt that tailbone up. Roll the chest forward. And exhale, we curl the spine, tilt the tailbone down, lots of arch in the back. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Come back to your table. Let's take that spinal balance here. We'll start with the left hand. So reach the left hand straight forward. You can spread the fingers wide or you can relax them. It helps me to engage my arm to spread those fingers out nice and wide. And then feel the left big toe really root down. That's part of your stability is that left foot. And then you can stretch, Ooh, am I gonna kick something? The right heel back. Imagine someone's pulling your heel and your fingertips in opposite directions. You're getting nice and long. And then slowly with control, we come back down. It's not a limpy release, it's with control. 
So let's take that other side. Start with the right hand, reach the right arm forward. Strong arm, root the right big toe down to the floor. Stretch that left heel straight back. Now if you feel yourself slooping down here, that's not a word, but drooping, and then lift up, draw the belly in and get longer. Good, one more breath in and exhale nice and slow with control, we lower down. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Back to center and we do it again. So this time we'll add a little quad stretch. It's called grabbing the cat's tail. But if you don't wanna do that, just stay right in that spinal balance. Inhale, left arm out. Exhale, right heel back. It's just my foam roller. Ha! There we go. Good. And then if you want to try to grab that cat's tail, it's the left hand that reaches around. Find that foot. Then bring it all back into alignment. Right knee back in line with your hip. Roll that chest open. Left shoulder blade curls back. Then release with control. Don't slingshot that foot back down. And then back. <sighs> Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left heel back. Still the foam roller. Then if you wanna try, right arm sweeps around, find that foot. Then bring the foot back in alignment. Press the foot into the palm that creates that lift in the quad. Roll the chest back. Good, release. Exhale down. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, down dog, toes under. Draw that belly in to lift the knees. Send the hips up. So notice how my spine straightens out first. My knees are still bent because I want to get the spine straight. Then I straighten out my legs. Let the heels reach towards the floor. Adjust your stance as you need to. Maybe you lengthen it out a little bit here. Paying attention to your shoulders. So we don't want the shoulders to be coming forward in down dog. So see how, maybe look at the video for a sec. See how my shoulders are coming forward here. So even if my chest, my head is back, my shoulders are too far forward. We wanna press those shoulders back, keep the spine straight, and then work the heels down towards the floor. Pedal out your feet. So really focus on getting one heel as close to the floor as you can while you bend the other knee. Keep equal weight in both palms. Coming back to breath, let that breath bring you back to this presence. Feeling your breath in your body. Feeling yourself in this moment. Feeling this moment as one set apart to practice presence with yourself, with God. Press both heels equally down to the floor. We're going to turn our gaze up towards our thumbs and step to the top of the mat. And now your forward fold here, top of the mat. You can softly bend those knees. Let your body sink down, belly button in towards your thighs. So maybe that means you have to bend your knees a little bit more. But think about that belly button coming in towards your thighs, your quads. And then the head droops down towards the floor. 
Grab opposite elbows again here. So right away I went to put my right arm on top, but we're gonna switch. It feels awkward. See if you can take the awkward way. And then let those elbows reach down towards the floor. Maybe start to straighten the legs a little bit. Send more weight towards your toes. Keep drawing the belly button in towards your thighs, crown of the head towards the floor. Then release your hands. Inhale, take that halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way to Urdhva. We sweep the arms wide. Palms meet up overhead, hands in prayer. And exhale, thumbs down. Heart center. Let your eyes close here. Just take some nice, easy breath. Feel grounded in all four corners of your feet. So equal from top to bottom, front to back, right to left. Deep breath in and out. Go ahead and sweep those arms around interlaced fingers behind your back again we take that same chest expansion so reach the fist towards the floor roll the shoulder blades together chest puffs and lift your chin even here you can draw the belly button in to strengthen the back that helps support your low back maybe find a little more depth press the hips forward Good, release nice and slow. Inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale, forward fold, dive in. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Vinyasa here, complete sun A. Inhale to that plank, palms down, strong step back with the feet. You can always bring those knees down, just keep your spine and tailbone right in that line or lift those knees and still keep it all in one line. Then for your chaturanga, it's a shift forward, shoulders past the wrists, then bend the elbows so they skim the ribs. <sighs> Inhale to your cobra, upward dog here for me. Cobra would just be your thighs grounding down here, upward dog, just the tops of the feet are down. Take your breath in and exhale, downward dog. Lift the hips up, keep that spine long. Pay attention to your palms so your fingers are nice and wide. The heel of your hand is down, but that shouldn't be where most of the weight is. Shift some weight towards your fingertips, almost like you're clawing the mat with the pads of your fingers. Deep breath in and out. Look forward and step forward. Feet come to behind the wrists. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep those arms back up. And exhale, we come right back in. Dive down, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Back to your plank, palms down, step toes toes or let the knees come down and your exhale is always that chaturanga so keep gaze forward come in cobra if you're on your knees just take cobra and then exhale down dog one breath in and out and again inhale travel exhale fold Inhale, half lift and fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Half lift, fold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chat. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold it here. Get those shoulders back. Pay attention to where the shoulders are. 
Press both heels equally down towards the floor. Feel the shoulders spread apart in the back. So it's like this openness. So as you roll the chest, so there's a difference between shoulders like this in down dog and feeling it open and spread that space between your shoulder blades and even in your chest. Wide fingers, equal weight from heels of your hand to your fingertips. We're gonna start working on the hips here. So from your down dog, inhale the right heel comes straight up. Now keep your hips or sorry, keep your shoulders square here. As you start to bend that knee, the heel comes in towards your glutes, but we keep the knee reaching for the ceiling. So it's like you're trying to spread that right knee away from your left thigh. Keep your chest and down dog. Feel that stretch in the right quad and in your hip. Good, then straighten out your hip, straighten out your leg, and then low lunge. Right foot steps all the way to the top. Roll the chest back as soon as you get here. You know that low lunge is one of my favorites. You have to spend a couple breaths in low lunge at the beginning of your flow. Because <clears throat> it helps you just be mindful of your alignment. So draw the right hip back. Roll the shoulder blades that little bit together and then strengthen this back leg. So if you feel that leg kind of drooping, let's strengthen it out. Straighten out that leg, draw the thigh in and up and breathe. Good, now we can slowly let the left knee come down to the floor. Don't lose the hip alignment though. Flatten out your left foot. And then we're in that Anjane Asana supported low lunge. We can let the left hip, it's like imagine this left hip crease or your left hip bone sinking down closer to the floor. Your right knee might go past your right ankle and that's okay because we're supported here. We've got some support. It's not too much pressure on your knee. You should feel nice deep stretch and increase even in that stretch in your left hip. Good, then we're gonna back out of it just a bit so that the right knee comes back to stack over the right ankle. Then we can bring the hands up to the right thigh. Still keep the shoulders back and the hips square. Once you feel nice and sturdy here, release the hands, reach them up nice and high. We take some twists, but keep the hips facing forward. Don't let those hips open too much here. Make this all through your ribs and your chest. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. So you can turn your head, but if you notice my left hip pulls a little bit forward, just reach with your arms. Inhale, turn back to face the front, and exhale, opposite twist. Right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands come down. We take our vinyasa here. So curl the back toes under, strong back leg. Flat palms, step your right foot back to meet the left and here you're ready for your flow. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, the left heel lifts. Now first I'm gonna bend the knee, so I draw the heel toward my glute. Then I start to roll the hips open so that I'm moving that knee towards the ceiling. Keep that left shoulder down. Feel the stretch in the left quad, left hip. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through. A couple breaths here. Square those hips. Strong back leg. Good. 
Good, let the right knee ground, top of the right foot comes down. And now we can let that left knee come forward a bit past the ankle so that the right hip is moving down towards the floor. Nice deep stretch in the front of the right hip. Come back, stack right, left knee over left ankle, hands start on the thigh, find that alignment here. Then once you feel strong and stable, lift those arms. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, twist, the right arm comes back, left arm forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left arm back, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, hands down. Lift your right knee, straighten through that right leg. Step the left foot back, either toes or knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Deep breath in and out. Coming up into more standing postures. We'll take this nice and slow to start, then we'll flow it breath to movement. Prepare, take a deep breath in and out. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, low lunge, step to the top. Inhale, ground that back heel. So notice my heel just comes down. The toes don't move. Then you're ready, warrior two. Lift your chest, arms extend. So one thing I wanna remind you, when you're in warrior two, it's not a hinge forward. You don't want the shoulders to be past the hips. You wanna pull the shoulders back so that they're stacked right on top of your hip bones. Then let the hip spread be in that knee. Front knee presses out as you lock that back pinky toe into the floor. Then your open arms, squeeze the shoulders back. Nice wide fingers, gaze past your right middle finger here. Deep breath in and out. Right into that reverse warrior. So turn your right palm to face up. Keep that low body still. We just now hinge back. So all that length comes down the right ribs. Left hand is just sliding down. Turn your gaze up or whatever feels best on your neck. Just keep that bend in your front knee. Good, then come back to warrior two. We just tick tock those shoulders back. So now they're stacked above the, the hips. And here's our flow. Keep the feet the same. Just straighten through the right leg and sweep those arms up overhead. Back to that prayer grip, just palms flat. This is like a modified star pose, so don't move that back foot. Good. We're gonna take that little bit of flow here. So it's inhale, Sorry, this will be the exhale, warrior two. So come back to your warrior two, and here's the flow. Inhale that modified star. You can bring your gaze up, and exhale, warrior two. So your gaze follows that right hand. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one here. Hold it here, warrior two. And we're coming right to side angle. So let the right elbow come down, forearm, and that left arm just sweeps up overhead. So you've got that long line, left fingertips down to the left heel. Roll the left shoulder back, maybe gaze up under your left arm. Then come right to low lunge from here. Left hand circles down onto those left toes. 
and take your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, chaturanga. Lift the chest, downward dog. Deep breath in and out. I'm just gonna turn so I'm not facing the wall. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Hold it here, square those hips. Warrior two, so just let that right heel come straight down towards the back. And then you're free to open your arms, open your hips. Roll the chest open, squeeze the shoulders back. Inhale, turn that left palm. Exhale through to your reverse. Keep that left knee bent, just slide the right arm down. Maybe the gaze turns up, maybe it stays to the floor. Either way is fine. Good, back to your warrior two. Then straighten through that left leg, come up to that modified star, palms together, squeeze the shoulders back. Good, come back to your warrior two, sink back in. Then we take that breath movement flow, your gaze follows your left hand. Inhale, straighten up, exhale, press it down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, last one, inhale star, exhale warrior two, hold it here. Side angle, left elbow down, that right arm just continues that motion, get long through the right ribs, again maybe your gaze turns up. Low lunge, right hand comes down to the floor, pivot to those right toes, frame your left foot. Inhale, plank, left foot back. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, downward dog. Deep breath in and out. Before we slow it down a little bit and get deeper into those hips, let's take that same basic flow and just do it a little bit faster. Just breath to movement one time through each. Just getting that blood flowing even more. Practice presence with your breath as you flow through each posture. Stay with that breath. If you lose it, come back to it no matter what pose your body is in. Just pause and come back to your breath. Get ready, deep breath in and out. Let's add back in that rock star. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, open that hip. Inhale, straighten it out. Exhale, low lunge to the top. Inhale, left heel down. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn that right palm. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Deep bend, exhale. Inhale, modified star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, elbow down. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, left hand down, low lunge. Step it back, plank. Take a breath in, in your high plank. Then you're ready, chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog, down dog. One breath in and out. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, rock star, open it up. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, right heel down. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, turn that left palm. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, sink into that warrior. Inhale, modified star, everything up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left elbow down. Exhale, reach it up and over. Inhale, right hand down to those back toes. Exhale, plank. Stay for your breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Lift your chest. Down dog. Whatever movement feels good here, pedal out your feet. Move your hips a little side to side. Come down to a table or a child's pose if that feels good. Just slow it down. Slow your breath. Feel your heartbeat. Let all that bring you back to presence here. We're just gonna get a little deeper into the hips now, nice and slow. Keep that breath deep, steady. Let it be the point of reference where you come back to when you need that little bit of presence. Noticing where you feel destruction in your body. Is it a physical destruction as we come through into these poses where we're gonna get deeper in the hips? Is it a mental distraction? Wherever that distraction comes from, send your breath there. Let the breath focus on that place, whether it's thoughts, body, things happening around you that you can't control, noises from other rooms, whatever it is. Let your breath bring you back to that presence in your body. In this moment, your presence with yourself and God's presence here with you. Good, we're gonna do back to that supported lunge and then a little bit into half pigeon. Inhale, right heel lifts to the sky. Take that open hip rock star pose. See my foot come all the way towards the other side. Keep the hips square, knee to ceiling. Then we straighten out the leg, straighten out the hips, and step the right foot to the top. We're gonna let the left knee come down here and flatten out that foot. Now you can bring your hands up to your thigh, but we're gonna sink that left hip again down towards the floor. So if you wanna do it here with hands on thigh, that's fine. If you want that support, actually, I think it even gets you a little deeper hands on the mat here. Good, and again, if you wanna try that, grab the cat's tail. Your left hand would stay down on the floor. The right hand is what reaches back behind you. And then bend the left knee, find that foot. Then press your foot into your palm. Imagine that left thigh sinking down towards the floor. Good, then slowly release the left foot if you've got it. Hands come back to frame that right foot. And here we're coming to half pigeon. So you're gonna heel toe that right foot so it comes to the left edge of your mat. And then let the right knee drop so it comes right behind your right wrist. Now, if the shin is parallel, you wanna stay a little bit lifted because you're trying to get left hip bone down to the floor, the back of your right hip down to the floor. But I think it's better to just let that right foot kind of soften in towards your body and then let yourself get deeper. So that back leg should stay pretty straight, should feel your right quad, the top of your right thigh, left top of your left thigh, really grounding down. And the right hip bone is down to the floor. 
So see right hip down, left thigh down. And then you can stay lifted here, or if you've got some pretty good support, you can melt. Hands walk down, elbows to the floor. Keep that connection as much as you can with the right hip, and then release your chest. Slow breath here. If you've got music playing, just let that music distract you maybe, or focus on where you feel that tension or distraction within you and send your breath there. Let that right hip get a little heavier. We're here for four more breaths. And then we slowly back our way out. So if you're folded, bring your palms back. Nice wide fingers. Curl the left toes under so that we lift the hips. Then you've got room for that right leg to come under the body and all the way up. Open the hip here. If flipping your dog is in your practice or if you would like it to be, this is a good time to do it. I'm just going to switch directions so that I've got some space to show you here. So you've got that right leg lifted. You're opening the hip. You're just gonna let that right foot continue to fall towards the floor till you find it. Then turn your belly up towards the ceiling. Reach your right arm away. And then we flip right back over, right hand back to the floor, both toes down, lift the hips down dog. Deep breath in and out other side inhale left heel up open that hip big rock star pose here knee towards the ceiling increasing that space between right and left thigh then turn the hips back straighten out the leg and step the left foot to the top Right knee comes down, top of the right foot grounds. And again, you can bring your hands to your thigh at first. You don't have to, but I like to just here to give me that little lift in my chest. Then sink right hip towards the floor. Deep stretch in the right front hip and the outside of the right hip. And honestly, I think you get a little deeper if you fold, so you're really compressing here in that left hip. Let the belly button fold to the left thigh, right hip bone, and right thigh down towards the floor. And if you want to take that, grab the cat's tail. Right hand comes down. So it's opposite hand, opposite foot. Left arm sweeps back. Bend the right knee, find that foot. And then press the foot into your palm and get a little twist. Good, release the foot nice and controlled. Hand comes back down, half pigeon. Heel toe that left foot all the way to the side. Left knee behind left wrist. That part is important, so keep that. Even if you let that left foot move a little bit in towards your body, towards the center, keep the left knee right behind the left wrist. That's what helps you get into the hip. So then we just sink that right leg back so that we're rooting left hip bone down towards the floor or shove a towel or a blanket or a block or something in there so you've got that support. Right hip bone down and then you can rest. Let your elbows come forward. Try to keep that left hip bone connecting to whatever is supporting it, the floor, a block, a towel, whatever. And then settle in. Breathe into whatever is distracting you. 
practice presence here. Last four breaths, let that left hip get really heavy towards the floor, right thigh down to the mat. And slowly begin to come out, palms down, fingers nice and wide so you've got that support. Toes under so you can lift the body and slide the left knee under and right back up. Maybe open the hip. Maybe you try to flip that dog here. Let me give myself some space. Just let that left foot come all the way over and press the hips up towards the ceiling. Good. Back over. Left hand down. Downward dog. Let the knees come down right into table. Take a couple cat cows here. Just really move that spine back and forth. Feel the blood flow come into your hips on both sides. Good. Then we're just going to come to a seat here. So cross your ankles, come down, sweep your arms up overhead, grab opposite elbows. Again, pay attention to which one. Always my right one comes on top. Reach those elbows up. And then as you exhale, right elbow down towards the floor. Little compression in that right side body. Root the left hip down. Maybe a little roll open. Then come back to center and then off the other way. Left elbow towards the floor. Root the right hip down. Good. Release back to center. Release your arms to the floor. So here's where you're going to need that strap or towel. We're going to come into cow face. So in cow face, you're stacking the knees. So you're getting nice stretch and work in the hips and we've warmed up. So we're ready for that, but also in the shoulders. So if for some reason the knees don't work for you, if your legs don't move that way, you can adjust. I'll give you some options to adjust, but focus on the shoulder part of it. Okay. So we'll start with the legs you can, you can, let me know, I'm just gonna tilt this. I think I lost some of my angle here. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with the right knee forward. The right knee bends so that the knee is pointing straight in front of you. Now the goal here is to bring that left knee across so that the knees are stacked in both pointing forward and the feet are coming back towards your hips. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you can let that foot come out a little bit towards the front so you reduce the angle of your left knee, or you can even just plant that left foot on the floor, either across or in front. Just depends on how open your hips are and what room you have. Working towards getting those knees stacked. So here I feel this so much in my left hip. And this is a pose in itself. You don't even have to add those shoulders in. And honestly, if you fold here, it increases that stretch even more. Just an option for, you know, your personal practice. But here we're gonna take a little bit of work with the shoulders. So I'm gonna take this strap in my left hand because my left knee is on top. I'm gonna reach my left hand straight up so that my bicep is right by my ear and then bend the elbow 
So the strap comes right down my back in between my shoulder blades and you're keeping that elbow reaching up towards the ceiling. Then sweep your right arm around your back. Grab that strap here and give it a little tug. So you wanna try and keep the chest forward, not melting down. We're keeping that lift in our chest. You're inching your hands closer and closer so that you get more of a stretch. Keep reaching that left elbow up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Nice tall spine here. Good, then release. The right hand releases first. Extend that right arm, or sorry, left arm straight up and then down. Good, then we lean back. So hands come behind you, lean the body back to undo the legs. Take those feet out nice and wide and then let the knees rock back and forth. Good, then we'll come right into the other side. So this time we'll put the left knee down first, left knee pointing straight forward, and then the right knee comes on top. Wherever you took it on the other side, so notice how my left foot is right at my hip, and then my right knee stacked right on top of my left. Whatever knee is on top, that arm goes straight up. So now my strap's in my right hand, I lift it straight up, bicep to ear, Bend the elbow so the strap comes right down the back. Left arm sweeps to behind, grab that strap, and then inch your hands closer together. Reach the right elbow up, keep squeezing it in towards your ear. Keep that nice tall spine lifted chest. Good, release the left hand first. Extend the right arm straight and drop it down. You can set that strap off to the side, lean back, undo your feet, nice wide feet, and then rock the knees side to side. Good, we're just gonna extend the feet straight here. Nice tall spine again, maybe even remove a little bit of that flesh from our hips here, flexing the toes. Inhale, arms up and exhale, forward fold. So just like in our standing fold, we're imagining the belly button moving straight down towards our thighs. Heart space, chin, everything moving straight towards your feet. Relax those shoulders back and then see how deeply you can get in your fold. Once you get into that fold, then it's okay to relax the shoulders a little bit, relax the chin towards the chest. Good, release nice and slow. Bend your knees, plant those feet. You're gonna just scoot your hips to the center, either hands here at your thighs, at your hamstrings, or a little bit of core work as you release those palms forward and slowly lower yourself down all the way to your back. When you get there, roll those shoulders back. Go ahead and release those arms up overhead. Take the awkward way. Other hand on top, extend the legs nice and straight. Get long, press those shoulders down, press those elbows down, point your toes. 
Then keep hold of opposite elbows. Just draw your knees into your chest. Pull them in nice and close. If you need to release your arms to hold your shins, you can try to keep those shoulders down. Use the strength of your hips to draw those knees in. And then a little bit side to side. Good, we'll come right to happy baby from here. So now we can release those arms. Feet stacked right over knees, flex toes, reach up, grab the outsides of your feet and draw those knees down towards the floor. So my knee is coming on the outside of my ribs down, like I'm trying to tuck it under my armpit while keeping the foot stacked over my knee. Feel the knees spread. This is so great for your outer hip flexors, front hip flexors, inner thighs. Relax the shoulders down. Deep breath. You can rock it out a little bit if you want or stay nice and still. Good. Then we're going to release the feet to the floor. Release your hands down to your side. Let your whole body come back to rest here. Notice your breath in and out. Notice how your breath brings you back to presence. If you want to stay here longer, then just stop the video and stay here as long as you want. If you're ready to be guided out, just start small movements. Circle your wrists, point and flex your toes. Take a full body stretch here, long through your toes, reach your arms out overhead. Feel that length down your ribs, your arms, your hips. And draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around, take that breath here on your back, then roll to your side, pausing there in this side lying position, coming back to your breath again. And then slowly sit back up, come back to a seat. Once you find your posture, once you find that tall spine again, let your eyes float closed if they opened. 
Relax your hands somewhere on the sides or on your legs, palms facing up and open. And I'm going to close this practice with a prayer from our little beloved Teresa. Let nothing, O Lord, disturb the silence of this night. Let nothing make me afraid. As this day ends and I recall your presence, let me not be anxious about what I shall say to you. There is no need, I know, to compose beautifully worded prayers. What you will hear, whatever words I have. I need not grow exhausted summoning up your presence or weary my mind and grow tired composing speeches to you. Let me simply set my needs before you, making my complaints known to you, telling you of my trials, but also rejoicing with you in my joys, making sure that I never allow my pleasure in your gifts to make me forgetful of you, the giver. For if I have you, God, I will want for nothing you alone suffice. Let's close our practice with breath. Take a deep breath in and out. I know it's not the same as being in pres being present together in the same room, but I hope this was at least a good alternative for the time being. I love you. Namaste.